And we are back coast to coast. It is Travel with Stephanie Abrams. And if you're living in the New York metropolitan area, if you live in New England, if you're visiting the East Coast or the Northeast, it's easy to get to Foxwoods in Connecticut where there is so much for you to see and do and enjoy. And included in that uh, is a special Cirque Dreams program. Uh, And we just had on Andrew Beal, uh, who was one of the performers from America's Got Talent, a a very talented saxophonist who really knows how to rock the place. And uh, we have with us now Robert Moraine. And uh, he was one of those people from So You Think You Can Dance, who will be, who is now performing at Foxwood in Elimination by Cirque Dreams. Uh, Robert, how did you get involved with the um, So You Think You Can Dance people? First, the whole So You Think You Can Dance thing um, was actually just kind of by chance. Um, one of my friends kind of told me to go audition, and I was kind of against the whole thing, but she was about to kill me. So I had to I had to go out there and um, I went and uh, nine hours later um, I happened to go straight to Vegas and it was awesome. <laughs> what kind of I forgive me I didn't follow that show and I travel far too much to really follow any particular show. <laughs> but uh, what kind of dancing do you do? Um, I'm actually a popper. It's like a West Coast um, style of. Uh, I guess you can say the robot, but evolved into what it is now, which is kind of what I do. <laughs> and um, did you were you one of the finalists, or did you get eliminated early on, or did you win? Where, how did that work? Um, well, I was on the show for the first audition, and um, what happened was um, my first audition on the Internet exploded virally, and uh, there was about 26 million views in the first week. And, wow. Wow. Uh, you I must have been sensational. To, oh yeah, it was it was life changing. Um, Aren't then, you glad you listened to that woman in your life? Oh yeah, I, I thank her almost like weekly. <laughs> I hope you send her a check now and then. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody needs that kind of agent. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, well, she's just my best friend, and she just asked me to go on, and I was like, all right, I'll go. Now, I, th- that's uh, interesting to me because clearly you have incredible talent for that to have happened, but for you to have been even a tiny little bit lacking in confidence that you would think, nah, why would I do that? They wouldn't be interested in me. And then find out that the world was interested in you. Yeah, Holy I know. Cow. It's kind of ironic because, I mean, I, I've never even watched the show before and um, I just went on and I just did my thing and I made it past the first round and I was completely surprised. But um, And how many episodes were you in before you came out in the finals? Um, that's the thing. Uh, I was only on the first episode and then when I went to Vegas, um, they asked me to do the hip-hop choreography and uh, I quit the show because that's not what I do. <laughs> well, a man of principle. Isn't that <laughs> interesting? That's fascinating. <laughs> Most people would have buckled. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is that um, I don't do any other kind of dancing. I just kind of do my popping thing, and I've been doing it for about six years. And uh, the it's funny how, like, I, that's the one reason I didn't want to go on the show is because I know I can't do all the other kinds of dances, you know. Oh, yeah, the next thing they'd have you doing the tango. Yeah, and yeah making I, mean, a I wouldn't even fool. know where to start. Right, make a complete fool out of yourself. No, you know, <laughs> what is that that song, the Johnny Cash song? You got to know when to hold and know when to fold. And <laughs> uh, Kenny Rogers? Oh well, I have <laughs> no idea, much, yeah. but it's true. I, I've got my, re- <laughs> my resident musicologist here always keeps me honest. Well, I'm really glad that the people at um, at the uh, Cirque Dreams. Um, and the folks at Foxwoods have embraced what it is you do, and we've got to come out and take a look and see you because um, it, clearly you've done something amazing, and I hope lots of people in our listening audience are going to come out and visit you as well. Thank you for joining us today. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Check out Foxwoods' uh, website, people, and I'm sure you can see more, and you want to take a look at com because I have a suspicion they've got goodies there as well that you're going to want to know about. Stay with us. This is Stephanie Abrams.